What's up? Today I'm gonna show you a technique that uh, I really like. It's called, uh, I call this technique no cheeks uh, circular briefing because actually you, uh, you're not using your, your cheeks uh, to, to brief. It's an interesting tactic, tactic because it's, um, it's very versatile. You can play this technique with uh, many different times. 3, 4, 7, 8, 4, 4 uh, and um, this technique uh, allows you easily to enter in a virtuoso mode <laughs> later I'm gonna show you uh, some uh, techniques, some different sound that you can do uh, pretty easily uh, with this technique so for first the phonetic word the phonetic word we're gonna try today is TP but first, uh, it's better to talk about the, how to brief with this technique. So let's keep focusing on the P, the phonetic word P, uh, that actually is where you are briefing. So you are not using your cheeks, you are just using your jaw and your tongue. Uh, then you can use also to change uh, uh, the kind of sound just the tongue but for first uh, it's good to learn to use together uh, tongue and jaw so your jaw dropping down this position and when start rising up your jaw you brick your lips you're breaking your lips you're doing this sound okay The tricky part, but not so much, is to breathe exactly at the same time. Okay? That makes the difference for with the between a good execution good of this technique and uh, something not very good. So coordination, same time. Longer? short okay that's important the coordination because you don't have a lot of time when you are playing the normal circular briefing you have time so you can you know start a little bit later just a little bit no problem you can breathe no problem in this case there's not so much time not so much time to breathe so you have, must be coordinated so now the rhythm the basic rhythm then from this rhythm you can make a lot of variants this is just a basic beat so is top okay the Add your lips. Why T? T is important because you give a beat, then you can change, you can add on the T voice, tooth, and all the stuff I'm gonna show you later. Uh, but what is important, for example, to play T now is because you are mm, dropping down your jaw. When you say T, you're ready to start briefing with the P phonetic word so T and P. I'm gonna do now without voice because you don't need the voice remember this is a two separated sound or at least start learning with these two separated sound the classical mistake when you're learning this technique is to, to play a kind of a wobble, like a this is wobble. 
This is no chicks circular breathing. You are managing less air and two separated sound in that way. You can listen. You have to breathe every time. If you don't breathe every time, the sound slightly changes and you're gonna run out uh, of uh, air, so you have to stop. So it's important to start a little bit slowly and try and try and try to get uh, the proper coordination. Another advice to do that is uh, to to use a, to choose a phonetic word tp or some rhythm, but I, I suggest you tp tp tp. And uh, try do, to do that uh, when you have some spare time during the day. Uh, so for example, you don't need, uh, it's not necessary this jidu. What is important is to try every day, half an hour, 10 minutes, something like that. <coughs> try to do that as much as you can for a couple of weeks. So you get uh, uh, the right coordination to start to start develop a little bit uh, some interesting techniques. Another thing very interesting to, to talk about this technique, um, and this is something that uh, I really like, is that you can modulate uh, um, uh, your lips when you are breathing. It means that uh, squeezing your lips in different way, harder or more soft, uh, you change the sound. So basically, with the same uh, movement, uh, you are working with a different sound, even different key. Uh, this is the basic sound tuple. Okay? Then, with the, when I breathe on the P, I can squeeze in different way. So now I'm gonna squeeze uh, uh, more, more, more my lips <coughs> to reach a, a sound a little bit more high, high and high. <coughs> or I can squeeze less, less my lips more soft. can also play a tooth with the puss sound. So as you can see you have a, a very wide range of sound and it's still the same tongue movement which is very important. As you can see it's very versatile this technique. I'm gonna play and briefly now just tup 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 and squeezing uh, in different ways just uh, um, a little bit more, 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 less, 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 less. So what changes just the P. The T is the same. Then another very interesting thing about this technique is uh, work with the uh, uh, the different volume. Uh, I showed in another video how to work with the different uh, volume of your cheeks to work with different harmonics. When you're playing with this technique, uh, you don't have a, you're not using any volume, any cheeks, so um, the harmonics are just uh, high. So it's interesting to alternate, for example, or sometimes put some uh, wobble with the cheeks full of air. So this uh, kind of play uh, with the cheeks full of air and cheeks empty uh, um, gives you more groove on your composition, uh, uh, more interest, more, more color, more bass sound. I'm gonna try now, for example, uh, tup, tup, wobble, wobble. Tup. Tom, 
check how change the sound Now from uh, this uh, this rhythm top top tom tom I'm going to add for example uh, what I just finished to show with you uh, I mean uh, uh, I'm going to squeeze in different way the p sound top top I'm going to squeeze this uh, sound this technique not chic circular breathing in different way the p Okay, so tup, tup, wobble, wobble. As you can listen, and the sound change, uh, I'm working with a uh, different keys we can say but the tongue movement is the same top top tom tom then of course you can also work uh, with the uh, phonetic word uh, t and keep the same sound for the p so for example you can mark more or less the t and create some uh, accent some pattern uh, and keep the same uh, uh, amount of strength on the P. I show you. This is the tup 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 sound. Now I'm gonna work just on the T sound. So a little bit stronger, a little bit less to create a kind of a accent pattern. Then, when you get used to play a little bit this technique, this, uh, this different sound, the T and the P, well, you can change uh, both sound at the same time. That's gonna be a little bit more tricky, but uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Then you can add also the wobble to give a little bit more groove. And here we are with our virtuoso mood. Uh, this is just a starting point to develop uh, your techniques. I mean, this technique is so versatile because uh, you can easily adapt uh, on very different style. Okay, you can find this technique uh, on modern did you do, contemporary did you do, um, beatbox, uh, mouth drum. Uh, many players are using this technique also because, uh, especially when you're playing a lot of uh, wobbles, uh, sometimes you're tired. Okay. And maybe you are in front of the people playing your title so what you're gonna do you change way to breathe why because in that way you relax some muscle to use other muscle so respecting the same time uh, you change way to breathing so you can a, a little bit rest uh, some muscle using another kind of circular breathing a couple of suggestions about this technique. Mm, this is a very good technique. For example, uh, if you like to play tut, uh, just short tut without pushing with a diaphragm. I made a video some months ago. You can have a look. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, here below the on the description the link. Uh, with this kind of tut uh, without diaphragm pushing, uh, 
it's interesting to add on the top top technique um, to switch with different kind of tooth uh, pretty easily uh, so for example we can try the rhythm uh, um, top t so in this case top tooth you work on the tooth on the on the t so top as i showed you and then we're gonna add the tooth sound on the second t This is just a basic rhythm, then you're gonna develop uh, other, other things by yourself. This is just up to you. I'm just trying to make the things easy to uh, maybe get inspired you a little bit. Then another interesting thing to, to say about this technique, as I mentioned, is uh, the the voice. Um, the voice uh, adds a lot of color on the composition, especially with different tone tones of voice. So I keep using the phonetic word tp 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 tp. Okay, that uh, I showed you. And I add the voice on the T. Okay, so. And brief we put. A short shout. Then. Of course, you can change it with different tone of voice. I suggest you, for example, too high shout and too uh, a little bit uh, uh, lower. So here, remember, you can squeeze in different way your lips when you breathe. So the same time you are using the voice with two different level, you can add also uh, the breathing sound with different levels. <laughs> So, I'm breathing, squeezing on the P sound in different way, and the voice in two different um, pitch, okay? Then you can also remember, uh, add the, the circular breathing, the normal circular breathing tone to give uh, a little bit more of a groove sound. <laughs> Of course, if you're gonna try all this stuff, just finished to show you uh, now, uh, maybe it's complicated. Start uh, just little by little. Start with a T P sound, or better, start with a P, just with a P, then the T P, and so on, adding stuff when you get more coordination. Don't start doing this stuff uh, super fast. Start a little bit slowly. Keep focusing more on the quality sound than the speed. When you reach quality sound, you also reach speed. This technique is very good if you like to play something really, really fast. But to reach that, you have to focus on the quality sound to separate the sound. So in this way, everything is gonna be more easy indeed. So I hope to to have inspired you a little bit with uh, with this video. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a, a technique that uh, I really like. It's like uh, ten years I'm using this technique. 
uh, I remember the first time I saw someone using uh, this technique it was the great player Andres Mikkel and uh, I was really shocked when I saw him uh, playing this technique uh, without using cheeks, uh, all this uh, uh, weird sound uh, I've been really fascinated so I start watching listening him I had the, for the fortune to see him uh, live playing this technique so I start uh, making my own path uh, inspired of this great man <laughs> so if you enjoy the video I really appreciate that and especially if you want to give me uh, a thumbs up or uh, subscribe to my channel so you can be uh, updated for my next video and uh, see you soon ciao